Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I have a wonderful tan going on. I don't know if it's like looking orange on camera, but in person it is so beautiful. It's like this cool undertone brown. It is so beautiful. I have tested it out myself. Um, I actually have two layers on. Um, the first layer was fine, but with me, I like to be darker and I don't know like here let me pull the camera back but like I am dark and like my face is kind of tan but I didn't want to look like an Oompa Loompa so I did put some self tanner on my face and I left it on for a little bit and I usually do my Dolce Glow tanning drops which I love for the face but like they don't like they expire really quick. So, like, if you're going to buy something like that, make sure you use it. And, I mean, I use it, but I think I only used it, like, four times. But, like, I don't know. I'm loving my tan. Um, this is from the brand Get Into the Lime Right. This is $45. Um, it's got water. Uh propylene glyco words that I cannot pronounce um so if you guys want like um kind of like a show you how to video I'm definitely not going to get naked on camera because that's like what is it the big mama's house where you have the big butt in the face and the boobs just going here and there it's not going to be that kind of video but I can tell you some tips because I have been applying self tanner for a while. Now I do have my problem areas where, you know, like I tried to blend this out yesterday and I just got too much on here. So like that's a no, no. So if like you ever go across your elbow, make sure you go out real lightly. And the other areas that tend to be a problem are like my hands, like it's more or less in the creases. So you're supposed to like put lotion on, which I usually do. Um, but I just got carried away with the tanner because I just wanted to be that brown girl. But I am loving this tanner. Um, so far, so good. I mean, you guys are seeing the results. I mean, it's looking gorgeous. <laughs> I don't want to spend all day on this, but... Um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Leah. I review beauty products. Um, I'm always 100% on bias, always. Uh, and if I do receive a product for free, I will always say that in my video. And regardless if they send it to me or not, I will always keep it 100% with you guys because you guys' trust is number one with me. I don't really care if it's free or not. I can go out and buy that product, so. Um, Everything in this video is newish, except the concealer and the blush. Um, there's a little tricky, tricky, trickity uh, makeup products in here that are like wild and crazy. So it's going to be a fun video. Um, so let's start with the primer. And when you do your primers and foundations, make sure they go together. So like. In the ingredients, you'll always see all the ingredients on the back or on the product. It'll say like, I think, what is it? Is it the first ingredient? Uh, let me look. So yeah, it would be the first ingredient, if not the second ingredient. Um, so the foundation has water in it. And I made sure that I matched it up with a good product. So this is a water-based primer. I got this off in TikTok. I was, I am so addicted to TikTok, let me tell you. Like I could spend hours and hours on that platform. So addicting. And then those ASMRs, like you have to spell, you have to literally find the special ones. And like, I found this one that it was just, it's, a guy, I forgot what his name is, Raul, and he's got like these sunflowers on the ceiling, but just the way he does his ASMRs, it makes me want to go to sleep, and he's so 
gentle on the eyes too. So this is a product that was like, hmm, is it really top secret? Are we gonna break the secret of primers? So this is the top secret face primer. This is an indie brand. This is from the brand Lashing Out Glam. Comes in this gorgeous gold packaging. Um, the box comes in this pink carton. So when you buy products on TikTok, make sure you always go to the brand because there are certain companies that will sell the product, but you don't know if you're really getting the product. So make sure you get it from the brand. So let's see if this is gonna blur my primers. Like the owner was raving about this primer. So I'm going to apply one side of the face with this primer. It's got this silicone texture to it. And she said you can even um, use this mixed in with your foundation. I have to get my mirror because I have to investigate this. So it does feel silicone-y. Is that a word? I don't know. Okay, so let me put the mirror down. I don't know if you guys can tell. So this is one, this is with the primer on. This is not. Let me bring the camera closer. So this is no primer. This is with primer. I'm kind of seeing the blurring effect. Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing it blur my pores. They have definitely minimized. Okay. It's working a little bit. Let me see if I can apply some more. Does it matter how much you apply? Because I don't want my foundation to slip off. With primers, you want to tap it in. Uh, I don't know about this, you guys. I am not crazy about the result. I'm getting I see it blurring out but I was expecting more from this primer um, when you want to blur your pores you want them gone honey you want them gone bye bye see you later don't come back you know what I mean it's got a smell to it so if you don't like smells you might not like this primer Let me put some on my nose because that can be a problem area. Kind of smells like vanilla. I've never heard of a primer with a scent in it. I hope this don't break me out. But this is why I'm here. I'm here to test products out so I can give you the tea. Okay, so this is my face with the primer on. Am I gonna have a make a good makeup day? I don't know. I already did my skin prep already. Always important to do your skincare. So I have a new foundation. This is a Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. It's got SPF 20, so you're going to be protected from the sun. Get this cap off. Seal. How was everybody's weekend? Mine was okay. One of my little wild... Be, oh, it's not a baby. One of my mama pigs had babies. She had eight of them. 
And with pigs, if they're, especially if they're wild and you want to sell the babies, you want them to be, and if they're going to be a pet, because I have two indoor, like, pet pigs. Well, one is for sure indoor, and he's potty trained. They're both potty trained, but the one is sleeps with me and my husband. His name's Porky, and the other one is Wilbur. He was our first one, and we started potty training him through the litter box, and that just became, like... <sighs> It just, it was so crazy to clean out the litter box. It was just chore. And so he, like, then Porky came. And he started seeing the Porky go outside and go potty and come in. Well, he thinks that now, well, now let's take me outside now. So now he's potty trained. But then he can't depend, he doesn't want to decide whether he likes it in the inside or does he like it on the outside. So what we do is we'll keep him outside for the, you know, so he can go exploring. And then at night we'll bring him in. And he likes to hide underneath the blankets. And so, yeah, those, you would think that you couldn't have a pet for a pig. They're just, pigs are like one of the most smartest animals in the whole animal kingdom. So that is my life. But the mama had eight baby pigs, and they're so adorable. And you want to, like, for them to be friendly. And when they're wild like that, they can sometimes bite. So we brought the baby pigs in. We gave them some, like, it's what it is. It's a milk replacement for the mom because the mom has the regular formula going through the nipples. And so we had the babies going out the nipples. Um, so we're like giving them the formula through the pan and they're loving it so far. And so I'm hoping the owners will like their new pigs once they're ready to go. So they get fed like every two hours. We have two runs in litter. I can never talk and do my makeup. They're like, come on, Mia, let's just shut up. Okay, so I'm going to do the foundation. This is what the foundation looks like. It's kind of dirty, um, but it's not runny. It looks like a thick foundation. Let's see how well this goes on top of that primer. I'm going to use my Makeup by Ariel Morphe brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush on one side, use the beauty blender on the other. This is not a beauty blender. This is the Peeps collection that I got from Walmart. And this is what the size looks like before it's wet. This is what it looks like when it's wet. So I'll show you a comparison. So not wet, wet. So I'm hoping this works out. Um, I got them at Walmart. They also, I don't know if they still are available. They were available like before Easter and after Easter. And then they have Hershey's. But I didn't get the Hershey's. Okay, this is definitely full coverage. Um, I'm liking how this is. I thought I would have to get a darker shade because of my self-tanner, but it's actually looking nice. So let's go in. So this is what it looks like with the brush. Now we're going to go on this side with the Beauty Blender, the sponge. So this is going to suck up a little bit more of the product. So I'm going to have to pump some more out.
So this is the side with the foundation, with the brush, and then this is a sponge. I think they look really nice, both of them, but you're gonna get more full coverage with the brush. If you want, you know, light, medium, go with the sponge, but they both look really nice. And I'm very impressed um, with this foundation. This might be one of my top foundations in my rotation that I'm going to use. Um, it went on top of the primer. Let me see. Let me get closer. It's not looking cakey or anything. I kind of wish the primer would have did what it was supposed to do. Kind of was looking for that you know, blurring effect, you know, it kind of like, kind of went there, but it didn't go all the way, you know, my underwear is not flying off me, if you get me, okay, now we're going to go in with some concealer, and we're just going to use the dubious place, because I already know how this concealer works, I don't have any new concealers, this concealer is wonderful. Put some of my problem areas. I'm going to go in with my sponge. And I kind of just want to lighten this up. I started doing this. And this concealer is so good. It blends out so quickly. doesn't do anything crazy and it's really creamy Now we're going to try some new powder. This is the Surratt Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm just going to powder where I put the concealer. So I don't have any crazy con uh, creasing going on. And I'm going to use my new Beauty Blender Puff. This is new. So like this came in like a compact and like I ended up messing this up. This is like an error myself. I ended up messing it up. But anyways, it goes in there. It's a little slot. It's got, it's empty when you get it. And you get this little cup cylinder and you just place it in there. It's got a sticker. You pull the sticker up and then your powder's in this mesh material. And it, that's what the powder looks like. Really thin. Doesn't feel heavy or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my powder puff. 
I'm going to stamp off the excess because I don't want a whole lot of powder going underneath my eyes. Oh, wow. That is nice. Same thing on the other side. Wow. Okay, Surratt. I might have to try some more from this brand. Their um, products are definitely different in a good way. I am loving this powder. Oh my God. We found a gem. I am loving this. Okay, I'm just so excited. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a, this is also from the TikTok shop. This is, I don't know how old she is, but she is so talented. She's so gorgeous. Um, this is from Boss Up Cosmetics, and it's called a Boss Balm. It's a color-changing cheek and lip balm. Comes in this gorgeous packaging. Take out my tweezers, because I hate opening these boxes. And what's different about this, is it's black and I loved like the component like this is really nice and then you open up and it's black so this let's see how this goes Oof, I'm scared Oof. Um, let's get me some blush brush Does it change? Oh my God, you guys, it's changed colors. Look. So we're going to go up here. I want to place my blush. Oof. Okay, that might have been too much. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm going to have a good makeup day today. Put some on my nose. I think we need a little bit more on the other side. Just a tad. Ooh, that is really pretty. Wow. Okay, I was going to put some on my lips, but we have a, another product from her that we can test out. Um... Do I have some? Yes, I have. Uh, I don't have a new contour, so this is still newish. This is the Too Faced Contour Stick. I'm just going to put some here and here, here, here. And I want to go above, below, not above, below. Smells like chocolate. Take out my contour brush. Blend it out. Because we're framing the face is what we're doing. And it blends out really nice effortless even for a beginner this is perfect and it's really super creamy smells delicious then we're going to go down after we blended that out now up my blending. Always when you do a contour, you want to go up and lift up because you want to lift those cheekbones. Now we're going to set what we put down. 
So I'm going to go into my shade and contour palette, one of my favorites. And I am going to go into this shade right here. Tap off excess. I would use my um, Marc Jacobs bronzer, but some of you may not have that bronzer. And so I don't want to tease that. I wish he would just come out with his... This is what I'm talking about, you guys. This is my Marc Jacobs bronzer, and I am loving this. Like, I've used this so many times, I've not even hit pan on this yet. And it is so gorgeous on the skin. Like, you can never apply too much with this. And I wish he would just come back out with his brand, because this was a really good bronzer. All right, now I'm going to go in with um, a powder uh, blush to set the cream blush, even though it was gorgeous. And tap on. It's kind of got this pinky blue hue. We are looking gorgeous. What is next? We can apply, let's do our brows and then we'll do highlight. So I have a new brow product from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Detailer. And it comes with a spoolie on one end. And then on this side, you're getting like this pencil looking product. It's a newish. Comb your brows up. Now let's go in and draw I should have could have went a little bit lighter. So I'm kind of heavy handed. Brows are definitely not my fine point, but I do try. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Let's go on the other side. I think it looks good. Again, brows are not my strongest point, as you can tell, but I do love this pencil. I was a little heavy handed with it, but that is my fault. Let's put some brow gel in. This is the Gimme Brow. Should have wiped that off. I thought I'd wipe that off. There we go. This brow is definitely off. This is gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to correct this or it's gonna drive me crazy.
There we go. Much better. I'm going to leave it as now. All right. Now let's apply some highlighter. I've had this highlighter palette for a while, but it is so gorgeous. This is from the brand Beauty Professional. You get three beautiful um, highlighting uh, shades in them. I'll swatch them for you guys. We went left to right. Those are the shades. So it's not glittery. shade should I go with? I think I'm going to go with the top, the first shade because they're not numbered. Subtle. That this was more. There we go. We're going to do something subtle today. I'm going to mix them. There we go. We're glowy and pretty. Oof. Yes, mama. All right. Now we can do, what should we do next? Let's do our eyes. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. Say that five times. So Coachella is from April 12th to the 14th and then the 19th through the 21st at the Empire Polo Club at 81-800 Avenue, 51 in Ohio. Ohio. Uh, Lana Day Ray is going to be there on Friday. The 12th and the 19th, Tyler the Creator, which he is, I think, the one that I'm talking about. But he is so talented. Um, like, he's like a commercial, basically. Um, he is Saturday, April 13th and the 20th. Doja Cat is Sunday, April 14th and the 21st. And No Doubt is going to be there. So, week in one looks like they're sold out. But week in two, it starts at $500. And then they have tiers. Um which I don't really understand because I've never been there before. But if you go to the website, it has all that listed. So. I heard Coachella is like a really cool place and event to go to. I want to go one of these days. I just don't know when I'll be able to afford like $500. It's I was like, wow, really? $500? All right. So, we are going to use uh, in palette from Essence. This is Welcome to the Sin City Eyeshadow Palette. And let's do something. I want to put something like a cool tone shadow down first. Um, I might go into my Twilight palette. Let's see. So that way I can set everything. I'm going to go in my Twilight palette called Say It Out Loud. And I'm just going to put some color down so it's not like white.
All right. So what should we do? So these are the different colors we have. I think the blue is really pretty. The gold, the red, even that color is pretty. Ooh, should we do blue? I've never did a blue look before. I don't know. I can hear you. I don't know if I can hear you guys talking over there. That color is really pretty too. Let me see. That color. What is this color? It's red. I don't know if I want to do red. I think I might stick to something really colorful. Um, <laughs> which this is colorful. Uh, we're going to start out with, we're going to do like an ombre effect. I'm going to go into this dark blue shade right here. And I need, I don't think this has a mirror in it. No, it doesn't. I'm going to stamp like, stamp this blue in like this. Like that. And then I'm going to go on the other side, stamp it. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to blend this. Same thing over here. And then I'm going to blend that color. So this is what we have going on. And I need to blend this blue better because it's stuck in out. All right. Okay. Now we can go back over and reinforce those colors. Then, where is my light blue color? Right here. We're almost there, you guys. Okay. 
So this is what we have so far. So good. And I am liking it so far. Good. Okay. Now we're going to apply some. This is what it looks like, everyone. This is not perfect. I wanted to step out of the box, and here I am. Stepping out of the box. I think it looks gorgeous, so put some liner on. I am loving these shadows so far. They are applying really good. Surprise. Now we're gonna apply some mascara. This is a new mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Surreal. Comes in this purple packaging. And the brush looks like this. Apply it on the other side. Have some on the bottom. some on the other side. I'm loving the way it looks on the bottom. Let's see if we can build this mascara. All right, so I am going to do a little bit of a hack. I'm going to take my eyelash curler because we are going to curl the lashes. Usually we curl the lashes. You can do it before your mascara, but I also learned a new technique, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. So pray to God this don't rip out my freaking lashes. I'm going to apply some setting powder on my lash curler. on the top and bottom and then we're just gonna go in and curl my lash
Oh, wow. Yeah, it did work. Look at. Oh, my God, it did work. Look at. It was so long. Look at my lashes. <gasps> okay, so this is what my lashes look like. I don't know if you guys can see, but. So, these are. I don't want to see up my nose, but. Look how long they are in this one. That did work. Oh, wow. So, again. Apply some setting powder on your eyelash curler. And then go in to your lashes. Hold it there for one, two, three, four, five. Pop it out. And boom, you got some curled lashes, honey. So that was an awesome technique. All right, you guys, so this is what the makeup looks like. I did something different. I hope you guys love the makeup turned out beautifully. Um, I will see you guys in the next video, and I love you. Thank you for always supporting me. Bye. Hey, guys, I just realized something, a little bit of an update. Um, I forgot to do my lips. But I have a new brand. This is the Boss Up Cosmetics Lip Oil. This is supposed to be a color changing lip oil. And I was so memorized by my rainbow that it just forgot. So it started turning colors like boom, bam. Wow. So I guess the longer you leave it on, the darker your lips are going to be. So if you are like comfortable with a certain color, you can always take it off or you can just wear it like this. Um, feels comfortable on the lips. Doesn't feel sticky. Feels very hydrating. Um, I will definitely be paying attention to Boss Up Cosmetics for future releases. So that is your review. See you guys later. Bye.